Good morning, everyone. This is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of You Need This Crystal. Look at this pretty little spotted crystal. It's a white stone. Looks like reddish, reddish pink markings. Um, this is called Cinnabar, and I got this towards the beginning of my spiritual journey, my spiritual awakening. Um, it was one of the first visits I made to the Points of Light Crystal Gallery in Asheville, North Carolina. I was so excited to see so many different types of crystals. My world was just expanding and I saw the word cinnabar and it reminded me of a um, perfume that I used to wear in high school from Estee Lauder. I don't know if you remember it but um, yeah I was wearing like old lady perfume in high school and but it was a really distinct scent and um, I loved it. I don't even know if they still make it but I remember I was in 11th grade biology class and my bio teacher, Mr. Miller, walked by me and was like, oh, what are you wearing? What is that scent? Oh, I love it. Something like that. And I was like, ooh, thinking back on that, that was kind of creepy. But um, I enjoyed biology anyway. Um, but cinnabar is um, also a name of perfume that kind of was the inspiration for me grabbing this and of course once I grabbed it and then I read about it I was like oh this makes sense so let me tell you a little bit about it um, I'm gonna utilize my favorite resource book for crystals it's called the pocketbook of stones by Robert Simmons and let us see what we can find out about cinnabar so, cinnabar kind of looks like a gumball, like from a gumball machine. I don't know, but I know I mentioned that, but I, that's what I think of sometimes when I see it. So here's what um, pocketbook of stones. So it's not exactly looking like this picture, but um, you can see a resemblance, right? Cinnabar. Okay, so let me read about cinnabar. Uh, keywords. Alchemy, magic, transformation, insight, manifestation, wealth, mental agility. Wow. So believe it or not, this is a manifestation stone. And sexual too. Because the chakras are the root sexual or the creative chakra, which is also known as the sacral chakra. And the third eye element is fire, physical benefits, energetically supports clearing toxins, overcoming infections, emotional benefits, helps one release anger and resentment, face truth courageously. Spiritual benefits facilitates perceiving the divine pattern, alchemical transformation. So just thinking about those benefits, it makes sense that I was drawn to this crystal at the beginning of my journey, the beginning of my transformation. Um, It's just when you're at the beginning, you're so, uh, you could be in anger, denial, depression, all the lower frequencies, shame, guilt, and you've got to clear all that lower vibrational frequency, all those, you got to face those wounds and face your truth courageously, releasing anger, all that makes sense. So, um, cinnabar is a mercury sulfide mineral with a trigonal crystal system and a hardness of 2 to 2.5. 
Its color is vermilion red. It forms around volcanic vents and hot springs. Cinnabar sometimes forms in conjunction with quartz and cinnabar quartz. It is the most beneficial form of cinnabar for metaphysical use. Cinnabar quartz stones are talismans of the alchemical transformation, the full manifestation of one's spiritual blueprint, the fulfillment of the divine pattern we carry within. This requires burning away the dross of one's imperfections and refining what remains into the pure essence of the higher self. Wow. So yeah, this can help propel you into um, cleansing and purification. Makes sense. Um, in addition to the first two chakras, cinnabar quartz stimulates the third eye, making for greater insight and the ability to see visions of the potential future. Oh, wow. It helps one ground one's visions in physical reality as well. This makes it an ideal stone for creative people as well as business owners, both of whom can use it to actualize their dreams and create prosperity. It can balance and remove blockages in one's energy body. Wow. I'm so impressed with this um, stone. Like, I'm almost falling in love with it, but... Um, I know that sounds weird. I did have a prophetic dream early on in my um, journey, let's say a couple years ago. I keep a journal by my bedside to write down dreams, lucid dreams, vivid dreams that I had. And so, yeah, it, and sometimes I keep, um, crystals by my nightstand. So you need to be aware of what properties and what abilities the crystal has and just be cognizant of what you're doing, especially when you're putting it by your nightstand or under your pillow or whatever. Um, cinnabar quartz is the stone of the magician archetype. The magician acts as a conscious conduit between the spiritual and material worlds. If one feels a kinship to the magician's archetype, cinnabar quartz can assist one in creatively directing subtle energies into manifestation. Wow. So I'm so impressed with this crystal. Um, you definitely need this crystal if you are on a spiritual journey and looking to transform into the highest and best self that you can be. Uh, purify yourself, transmute energy, transform, all that kind of stuff. Um, take a look at the cinnabar and add it to your collection. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.